Hello everyone and welcome to a live coloring fun video. <laughs> We're going to be coloring this page right here, this Celtic owl. I'm excited to do it with you today. I have it printed on marker paper, so we're going to use my Ohuhu markers. This is the page I colored uh, just a couple days ago live on Facebook. So if you're interested in seeing how I colored this page, um, visit our, our Facebook page. Let's see. And that would be... I'm trying to find the... <laughs> uh, I can't find it. I was trying to find the link that I could put up. But what we are doing is a giveaway. Um, it's actually a coloring contest and we have um, lots of fun pictures you can pick from to do your coloring contest. This is the page here that shows you all three of the pages. So let me tell you how the contest goes because we're giving away $50 for an Amazon gift card to one lucky winner. And there's not very many people participating right now. So your chances of winning go way up because it's a small group. So over at our Facebook group, this is it right here, um, you can come and join us. That's the first thing that you need to do to qualify to enter for a chance to win the $50 gift card. So you're going to visit that group and join our group if you haven't already. Um, and there's just a few little questions you have to answer in order to join the group, but then you're in. And in that group, we have created a album. And the album is in the St. Patrick's Day Contest 2024. And it has all of these rules and um, instructions listed there. And the idea is that you get to color one of these three pages or you can color all three. So you have up to three entries that you can enter. So step one to participate, you're going to download and print one or all three of the provided free coloring pages. That's these ones right here. And um, once you've printed it off, you can color it with use, using any art medium, any color scheme, just have fun. Then take a photo of that completed page and upload it to the album. Not in the comments, but actually in the album. Oh, Rose is sticking her head in here. Hello, little Rose. <laughs> so once you have uploaded that to the album, then all you need to do is share that coloring page in at least one other Facebook coloring group. And don't forget to give credit to the illustrator, which is Coloring Bliss. Now, once you get all that done, you've got your entry in. And you can do that, like I said, three times. And that gives you three entries into the contest. And as I said earlier, um, the winner will be selected randomly. We're not doing this as like a, a talent contest. This is a participation contest. And the contest ends on Sunday, March 17th at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Daylight Standard Time. Um, so you have all day Sunday to get your entries in, but don't delay. You want to make sure you get them in on time. And then the winner will be announced in that Facebook group on Monday, March 18th, 2024. So that's all the details. All these details are in the group album, this St. Patrick's Day contest album. So you can reread it and if you have any questions. Also, while we're here live, you can ask if you have any questions and I will hopefully be able to answer them. So this is the first one I colored. You can download this page and color it yourself. I think it turned out good. I like the gold I added. So fun. So, so much fun. And then this is the one I want to color with you today. The Celtic owl. He has a nice big Celtic knot on his head and here on his chest that we get to do. So this should be fun. I've colored this page before, but it's a really fun page to color. So I it looks like we've got some people here. We have Leanne, Vicki, Don, Lawrence, and Chris. Um, and let's see. Your Chris is in Vermont. And okay, I just wanted to catch up and make sure there weren't any questions yet. And I need to move Rose. She <laughs> 
she wants to be a part of the video a little too much. So I'm going to put her on the floor uh, so we can start coloring. And I'll take this off. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I needed to say before we start coloring, but I think I covered it all. Oh, how can I forget? We have a big giveaway going on where we're giving away um, four different sets. We're picking four different winners um, of the Ohuhu markers. And for that, you need to go to coloringbliss.com slash giveaway. That's where you will find it. Actually, look at this. I've got a better graphic right there that shows the giveaway slash. So if you want a chance to win um, a huge full 320 set of Ohuhu markers, or we are also giving away three sets of the pastel markers. So we've got four winners we get to pick. So follow the link, go to coloringbliss.com slash giveaway. And while you're there, you can um, enter for a chance to win that. And then, like I said, don't forget that the giveaway we're talking about today is actually a coloring contest. And that's happening on Facebook in our coloring group called Coloring Pages Bliss. Okay, we'll talk more about the contest later. I want to start coloring. I think I'm going to do um, just basically green and gold. I'm not going to make this very complicated. I think that it would be really pretty to have this be green and gold. Don't you guys think so? <laughs> so yes, let's see. Um, let's start with some green. I'm thinking gold back here. That would be really pretty. Um, so for gold, maybe we use um, the yellow orange tritone set. Oh, throwing markers everywhere already we just started okay so let's do the eyes and I'm going to um, not do too many details like if I wanted to I could color each one of these stripes a different color but I think I'm going to color them all together now this coloring page I drew back in 2016 and back then I was adding shading so there's already some shadows built in. I can't believe that was back in 2016. That was, what, seven years ago that I drew this? Crazy. Look how pretty that already looks, and we just have started. Um, Vicki says, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thank you. Yes, that really helps our channel if you can hit that thumbs up. And we've got Michelle here as well. Hello, Michelle. I think I'll do behind this knot, this Celtic knot, in the gold color too. So I'll just, I'm just using um, the chisel nib so that I can fill this in really fast. And like I said, I've got this printed on marker paper. So it's a nice smooth cardstock. And makes coloring with markers a lot easier. The color I'm working with right now is Y121 Primrose. And we've got Charlene here too. Hello. Have have any of you done any coloring for St. Patrick's Day yet? I've done this page, which I showed you already. This page I did on you no Facebook. I did this live on Facebook. And then I've also done a mandala. I shared the mandala I created on Instagram. So I recommend you follow me on Instagram as well. I think, I can't remember, I think we're called Coloring Bliss on Instagram. When we first started, um, this business, me and my husband Steve, we called the company Coloring Pages Bliss and then later we shortened it to Coloring Bliss. So some of our original social media handles are still from that original time when we were Coloring Pages Bliss. 
Let's see, Betty Ann says, I love working with markers because it fills in quickly. Yes, and you get such a good, vivid look. It's so fun and fast. Um, and Colorful Dreams is here. Hello, we're doing really good. Um, Colorful Dreams says, I'm not a seasonal or holiday colorist, to be honest. I think the only reason why I color for holidays and seasons is because I'm on YouTube and... So I happen to um, do more coloring like that because I'm on YouTube. Okay, now I'm bringing in Y2 Sunflower to add some of the shading. Oh, Steve's here. He's trying to get Rose comfortable. She's, she's not sure what she wants to do this afternoon. She doesn't know if she wants to be part of this or not. Okay. Good. That looks good. Um, Polly says, exactly what I'm working on with color pencils. Oh, I can't wait to see it, Polly. Chris, I drew in the color a mandala for my door decor. Oh, cool. You drew it as well. Good for you. I love... I love mandalas. I'm always making them and having fun with them. Okay. And a little bit through here with the darker color, the sunflower color. Blend it out with the primrose color. Okay, and then we've got Another darker color we can use to add even more depth if we wanted to. And the one I have here is YR1 Dark Yellow. So I think I'm going to use it not all over, but in just select areas. Like right under his... Are we going to call this um, his eyebrows? <laughs> I don't know what the technical term would be on a owl, what you would call that. So I'm going to call it his eyebrows. There, that looks good. And maybe down here too. That's good. I don't know if I've ever seen an owl in the wild. Steve, have we ever seen owls in the wild? I don't know if we ever have. Chris says, I used the Coloring Bliss Mandala template. Awesome! That's so good to hear that that template's getting used. Um, let's see, Chris. I haven't, no, Michelle says, I haven't colored in a while. I've been working on a beaded wolf. Whoa, neat. Colorful Dream says, love the pages you've created, Jennifer, and I love seeing everyone's rendition of the pages. I'm excited about that for this contest to see how everybody colors this owl or the other two pages. And like I said, this has nothing to do with talent. This is just participation. So don't let that stop you if you want to participate then and you're worried it's not going to be up to par or something silly like that, don't worry about it. Um, because this is all about just participating. And also, like I said, there's not many people participating yet. I'm hoping to get a lot more because if we get a lot of participation, we'll do this more often. Um, so your chances of winning the $50 Amazon gift card is really good because not too many people have submitted um, their coloring pages. Of course we've got about a week. Is that right? Because this Sunday is like the 10th, right? Let me see. Yeah. So we have about a week to get all the entries in. So. I didn't get that. Could you try again? <laughs> Serious. <laughs> um. You will be the first, as I so value your opinion. Oh, you're so sweet, Polly. Um, 
Betty Ann says, saying thank you for the digital pages for my Ohuhus. So much appreciated. These markers are so much nicer when they when they come. It's nice having order to them. Oh, I'm glad you like them in our order that we created. Okay, I'm just doing a little bit of shading here, following the shading that the illustrator did, which was me. I was the illustrator on this one. What is it, Rose? Okay, a little bit of shading here. I want it to look like the the knot is sort of on top of his chest. Okay, let's see. Hey, Coloring Bliss and everyone, I had not colored in a few weeks. Been diamond painting. Fun. This is Mutt Nuts. <laughs> Crazy crafting. Um, but hope to pick up coloring soon. Polly thinks I pushed her into coloring this owl. <laughs> Betty Ann, it's beautiful order and so much work you put into them. That one was a lot of work. Um, and we all, to be honest... <laughs> We almost gave up on it, um, on creating that order. I would say maybe three times at least, Steve and I actually stopped and discussed whether it was worth all the work that we were putting into it. Because <laughs> it took so long and it was so, oh, so many markers, 320 markers to get into order and it, it was a chore. And we don't just throw them into an order and call it good. We really, we get them into an order. We take our time and, and analyze whether we like the order. Then we change the order according to what we've decided. And it's, it's a huge undertaking, especially with that many markers. Okay, I like that. Hello, Debbie. And Betty Ann says, I'm glad you didn't give up. Me too, um, because I'm enjoying the order. I have them in the new order here, right in front of me. And then what I did was I pulled out the 36 markers that we chose for the light, medium, and dark of each color on the color wheel. And I have them in a separate little tray so that those trios are really easy to grab. And I've been doing a lot of coloring with them and really enjoying having them in that order. Rose is just crying. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear her. She doesn't like what we did here. So let me see if I can get her back up on the sitting next to me and see if she'll go to sleep here. Bring her pillow back. Lay it down. We gotta get Rose happy. Now because she thinks this is the first time she's been up, I have to give her a treat. Sorry about this everyone, but you know how it goes. You gotta take care of your fur babies. Okay, hopefully she'll be happy now. Um, hi, Heather. Michelle says she keeps all her markers in front of her, too. Yeah, if you, if you don't keep your tools really handy, you're not going to get the most out of them. Okay, I'm adding in now a little bit of the, the darkest color. Um, in the trio for this yellow orange or gold is what we're calling it and the darkest color is called YR1 dark yellow okay just throwing it in here not being 
much of a perfectionist here because we're gonna we have lots to do lots of layering to do here hey rose bethany says hello <laughs> i think she's starting to calm down here and settle in so that's good okay anywhere else that i want to put the gold or is that like the main places for the gold i wonder about the eyebrows but it might take the um, attention away from <sighs> okay think we're going to be doing green on top of this so the eye the gold is to bring attention to certain areas to the eyes to the Celtic knot here on the belly and maybe yeah I think we will do the eyebrows in the same tritone of colors so I'm going to turn our little guy upside down Debbie says I color about 22 hours a day it's pain therapy I hear ya I had a choice today I was like I'm either going to need to take a nap because my pain's a little higher this afternoon or I need to color and I just don't didn't feel like sleeping the day away so here we are and I decided why not go live Okay, so I'm back to the lightest color, which is prim. It's actually primrose, P-R-M-R-O-S-E. There's two markers. One that says prim with an I, and one says prim with, with no vowel. So we're using the primrose. We'll get the eyebrows all colored in here. And then we'll bring in some green. And I think we'll use um, my three greens. I've got a yellow green, green, and blue green. We'll see. I don't know what we're going to do. Debbie says, no, 12 hours. <laughs> that makes more sense. I was going to say, do you never sleep? Which would be sad if you were in that much pain that you weren't sleeping. Okay. Adding some shading here. Just following the shadows in the illustration. Holly says, Rose, sweetie, tell Mama Leah thanks that another treat would help. <laughs> I'm sure Rose would love that. She's finally settling in here. We've got, we haven't um, had her groomed in a while because we wanted to leave her fur a little long for winter so she would be warm. But when she gets up here under the studio lights, it gets a little too warm for her and she starts panting. So I don't know if she'll fall asleep, she should be fine. She usually stops panting as soon as her body calms down and she goes to sleep. Okay, that looks like a good, got three markers going here at once, just building in the shading. Okay, now, how do we want to shade this? Let's flick in some of the mid-tone here and some of the mid-tone here and then some of the dark tone right in the corners back to the mid-tone blend it out and then back to the lightest to blend that out oh that's a squeaky one did you guys see on my Instagram post, I did a poll to see if 
that sound, that squeaky sound bugs people or is it just Steve? Um, I think the results ended up pretty much 50-50. Half the people are bugged by the sound and half the people don't mind. Um, Ordinary Knitter says hello from Salt Lake City. Hello, we're close by. I'm in South Jordan. And Chris says, my kitty sits by me for coloring. He's orange, cute, and named Pasquel, Pasquel, uh, Pasquel Figgenbaum. <laughs> That's so cute. We have a little orange kitty in our house, too. My eldest son and daughter-in-law live in our our basement we right before covid hit we um fixed up the basement into an apartment for them and then of course covid hit and i was so glad that they were home with us um in our basement um but now housing is extraordinarily expensive. I think it's the same case all over the country right now. So they're still living in our basement, paying us a little rent every month. And, and they have a cat that's orange. And he kind of has the, since Mishka passed away, our other cat, he kind of gets the, the rule of the whole house now. Okay, I like that. I like the shading I added. We need to let it settle and dry, and then if I need to um, finesse the shading a little more, I can, but I like it. Polly's fur babies wander in and out of her studio. That's fun. Okay, let's do the green now. And I'm going to do straight up green. There we are. These three right here for the two Celtic knots. Let's see. We have a beak too. I wonder if that beak should have been gold. I don't know what a beak looks like on an owl. I guess it probably depends on the kind of owl. I remember drawing this Celtic knot and it was tricky. If, if you can tell, this was drawn before I was drawing digitally. So this was all drawn by hand on a piece of paper. And to get this Celtic knot to do what I wanted it to do was really tricky. To make it look effortless <laughs> took a ton of effort. I remember being very happy it was done and pleased with it. But I probably need to one of these days. I've been digitally remastering a bunch of the old drawings that I did. And I probably need to do this one. Okay. Um, CLC says she's not steady with markers. She uses pencils more. I go through phases. I'm in a real marker phase right now, partially because we're giving a set away and I want to use it on camera to get everyone excited about the giveaway we're doing. So that's one reason why I have been using markers a lot. The other reason is color pencils are very slow and wear me out and so I've been enjoying the speed of markers lately. 
Okay, so I want to mention if you want to learn about our giveaway, this is where you need to go. We're giving away four different sets of Ohuhu markers, this type of marker right here. So follow the link and, well, follow that link that's on the screen and it will take you to a page where there are lots of different ways to enter. The giveaway for those four sets, I believe, ends... Um, now I can't remember the dates. I'll get Steve to share. Steve, March what are the... 21st. March 21st? It ends March 20th and ends March 21st. Okay, so the giveaway for the Ohuhu markers ends March 20th, 2024, and the winner will be announced March 21st. If you want to be part of another fun thing, we're having a coloring contest in our Facebook group, and that's where this little owl comes in. You can download him for free from our Facebook group. The album is called St. Patrick's Day Contest 2024, and there's three different images you can download. This one, this one, and then the third one I haven't printed off yet. It's this page right here. And to enter this contest to win a $50 gift card to Amazon, all you have to do is participate. It's not a talent contest. You download these, you color them. If you color all three, that's three entries you get. If you just color one, that's one entry. And you share the picture of the final picture, uh, share a picture of your picture, your page, in the album and that will give you an entry and then we ask you to share the finished um, photos of your pages in at least one other Facebook coloring group so that um, we can get the word out about the free downloads and the coloring contest. Okay that's the spiel back to coloring. <laughs> okay I want to add some shading here um, and the jump from this color to the lightest color is quite, it's a big jump. So we're going to use this trick here to help ease the transitions. So I put the mid-tone color on my glass board and then pick up that mid-tone color with my marker that is my light color. And that allows for a really smooth transition between the two colors. Just like that. So does anybody know what color a beak is on an owl? I don't know if they're all the same colors. I mean, this is not your standard owl, so I think I could do the beak any color I want. Let's go right here next. Oh, it went out of the lines there a little bit. Shh, don't tell anybody. Well, Rose is asleep. I don't know if you can hear her snoring. Okay, here. And here. Smooth out the transition. Like that. We're almost done with this knot. I want to add some, some green, either green glitter pen or green metallic. So I want it to be, have the nice basic shading that we're creating right now but I don't want a lot of details on it yet because we're going to add some gel pen
whoops, I did that backwards. First you put down the shadow, then you pick up the ink to make the transition. There we go. Let's see. Is Rose asleep? <laughs> yep, she's snoring now. Um, an orange color for the beak, black for the beak. Oh, I kind of like that idea. I don't know. I just found y'all doing a live. Welcome, Sabrina. Dark gray for a great horned owl. Okay. Uh, a Celtic owl, Maya says. Yep, we're working on the Celtic owl, which is a free download. If you come on over to our coloring group and become a member of that group that's on the screen right now, that group is where you can get three free downloads to celebrate the fun of St. Patrick's Day. I don't do much more for St. Patrick's Day other than I wear green on the day. Partly because when you're, you're a kid, you get tortured at school if you don't wear green. So I still wear green to this day on St. Patrick's Day because of that torture. <laughs> okay, we've got everything blended on his chest. Let's do the little Celtic knot up here now. Okay, good. I kind of like the idea of grays. Are you panting again, Rosie? It's hot underneath these studio lights, isn't it? You let me know when you want to get down. I like coloring with markers on the lives too because it goes so fast. I get a lot accomplished in just a few minutes. All right, there we have it. Um, Sabrina says, I'm trying to focus on coloring more now. Put my cross stitch away. Puppy ate a needle. Oh no, scared us big time. I bet it did. She luckily able to pass it without an incident. Oh, that's good. Ika, Ika, I think? Or is it Alka? No, Ika. I think usually the point is the darkest part. More blackish come into brown and then a sand color close to the head. Oh, that's interesting. Polly cooks corned beef and cabbage and green mashed potatoes for St. Patrick's Day. That sounds like fun. Let's see. Yeah, Michelle, you're right. I have a lot of gray markers we can choose from. Uh, chicken and noodles. CLC is cooking chicken and noodles. Yeah, Michelle says her favorite part of these markers is all the grays. And you're right, that we have a ton of gray to pick from. Okay, that is looking good. Let's work on um, maybe the fringe around his belly. And I want to do one yellow-green area and one blue-green area. So I'm thinking... Let's do the darkest, the blue-green here. And then that will hopefully bring more to, actually, <laughs> the contrast between the darker blue-green might bring the attention to the eyes better. So let's do yellow-green around the fringe here on his belly. I'll grab my yellow-green trio here and start out with just coloring it all in. And again, my plan is to color this pretty quickly and then come back with gel pens to add the details in. 
So I'm going to start with my yellow green lightest color, which is called Sugar, Sugar Cane GY7, and just fill this all in like that. Jill says Google Beaks are pale yellow, pink, white, or gray with some even displaying dark gray beak colors. Wow, lots to choose from. CP Colors Me says hello. Hello. Um, let's see, Sabrina making corned beef and cabbage for staff and students in my room this week since we'll be on break over St. Patrick's Day. Oh, that's fun. I never really grew up eating corned beef and cabbage, so it's not one of my favorites. I'll eat it, and I enjoy it when it's made for me, but I never think to go out of my way to cook it. Don't have any good recipes, all that kind of stuff. Let's also do some blue-green in the tail. We'll do this section blue-green and the rest of it in the yellow green that will give us I mean let, we'll do yellow green here and blue green in the other three sections okay let's bring in some shading now again we're just going to kind of follow Jennifer's rule of blending thirds add the mid-tone here that and then use the light marker to blend out the transition and I'm just using my chisel nib for this because it's so such a big broad area and we're not we're not paying attention to the little details yet another reason I like markers is for this very kind of thing. They're very translucent, so the line art will shine through these dark yellow-green colors I'm adding in. And a little more of the lightest color just to keep the blend going. Okay, that's looking good. Tammy's here, welcome. Um, Sabrina says, I want the huge Ohuhu marker set, but not sure how I'd store them or organize them. I color in a recliner and it doesn't seem like a cozy fit. Well, they come in a nice case. And I think the case has six sections to it. So you can kind of organize the markers into the sections. And then just have that big marker case right there next to you. But the case is awfully heavy <laughs> when it's full of 320 markers. It's very heavy. So it might not be the most convenient thing to have in next to you on your recliner. I do a lot of coloring up my recliner too. And I usually bring down a small set of tools, so that might work for you. Just bring down the, like make your decisions on what you wanna color and bring just those markers with you. Okay, was this on special marker paper? Yeah, this was printed on my marker paper, which is a, a just a, a standard, well, it's not a standard, it's a card stock that is very smooth, um, and which makes it really easy to color with, with um, markers. That's what we're working on today. Hello, Angela. Do the sections come out of the bag for the oh hoo hoo? Sabrina asks. I don't think they do. Okay. Add some shading here, and then we've got the yellow green done. Oh, I've got markers going everywhere here. Okay. 
Okay, add a little bit of the darkest yellow green just to make it pop. Blend that out. And blend that out. Okay, we got that done. Now I think we want to do the blue green around the eyes. So I'm going to put the yellow green away for now. Back up on my shelf and bring down the blue green. So we're doing an analogous color scheme basically because we're using um, yellowy colors yellow green green and now blue green bethany wants to know what the best paper is for markers steve do you think you could share a link for her um steve's here he'll get you a link bethany my my current favorite tools are in a wheeled set of drawers that's awesome um, because you're my Chris says she's mobility impaired yeah that it's so important to have everything close by so you don't have to I hate having to ask people to get to get stuff for me uh, especially you know like when you don't feel good you can feel like you're nagging everybody around you <laughs> so having yourself set up the best way possible so you don't have to ask too much of people is a really great way to do it. That's what I end up doing uh, by myself. I have everything I need, my medicines and snacks and water, everything's there. So I don't have to nag the people I love too much. Okay, we're just creating a blend again here. Sherry says, is it just me or does this owl look like he's not happy? He does look grumpy, doesn't he? I wonder why he's grumpy. Maybe his dinner got away from him. He was trying to catch a little mouse and it got away from him. Maybe he didn't want to be green. It's not easy being green. Do you remember that song? Okay, blend out that last little section that I just colored in. So I'm using my blue-green trio right now. Um, and I'll hold those up to the camera. If you want all of my trios so that you can know what a good light, medium, and dark is, um, we have a whole book dedicated to Ohuhu markers where we share my, my picks for my favorite light, medium, and dark for every color on the color wheel. Did you see what Sabrina said in the comments, Steve? Mm -mm. She asked if there's any suggestions of like a 24 to 28 pound weight paper. My laser printer doesn't like very heavy paper. Vicky says the owl is green with envy. Yeah. <laughs> and Tammy says she's been in the hospital for the past four weeks. That does not sound like fun. Hopefully you're on the mend and you'll be able to go home soon, Tammy. Does your hospital do anything fun for St. Patrick's Day? Do they serve corn, beef, and cabbage? <laughs> okay, we'll do around the eyes with the blue-green. Blue green eyes. My printer, um, we have a laser printer downstairs, but upstairs we have an inkjet. We want to have both printers so that we can test papers 
and test coloring techniques to see if it affects the either the laser um, ink or not ink <laughs> with laser it's not ink Anyway, you get what I mean. We needed to have both kinds of printers so that we can test all these different papers and the different techniques that we do to make sure it'll work for all of you. Um, but our inkjet printer is what we printed this one on, and it's having troubles. I think it's going to have to be replaced soon. You can see in the eyes, they're not printed very dark black. They're kind of dark gray all the lines on this came out more gray than black so and it printed wrong the first time see it printed wrong the first time <laughs> and we keep having problems like that so we need to save our little pennies for another inkjet printer here soon and when you buy a new printer you can be um, really thoughtful and careful and get a printer that can handle thicker, heavier papers. So that's what we recommend when you're shopping for a printer. But if you already have a printer and you want to get the most out of it, then I can see why you're asking about a lighter weight paper. Sabrina says inkjet printer smears when I color over it. We have that problem sometimes too. Steve, is it that you do a slower print or higher? How is it that there's something that you can do? <clears throat> that works better for laser. Oh, laser is where but you slow it down. That, I mean, it's still a good idea to do for inkjet too. Um, but yeah, I mean, inkjet's just, it depends on the ink. It depends on the ink, okay. Okay, now I want to add just a little shading here. So I'm using my mid-tone blue-gray, blue-green. And then we'll blend that out with the lightest. Squeaky, squeaky, Steve. Probably shouldn't have pointed that out. <laughs> I'm editing, so I have my headphones on. You have headphones on, good. <laughs> so you only hear it a little bit in the background. Steve's editing a workshop that I filmed for the Coloring Academy. I think he's already got next Wednesday's YouTube video all edited and ready to go. Squeaky, squeaky. get some darker going in the eyes around the eyes really want to bring attention to the eyes okay I like that let's see what the, the questions are um, CLC asks, is this the Ohuhu set? This is Ohuhu Honolulu is what we're working with. So we have a brush nib on one end and a chisel nib on the other end. The greens and gold yellows are also the colors of Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month, which is also March. Oh, that's nice. You're a, a CP warrior. Well, that's awesome. Um... 
Ica says the inkjet can be a dye ink or a pigment ink. Ah, oh, interesting. Pigment ink is not supposed to bleed if you let it dry properly, but it also depends on the paper. That makes total sense. Um, Simply QE wants to know if I um, designed this page. Yes, I drew this page back in 2016. You can get it as a free download in our Facebook group right now because we're doing a giveaway. It's a contest, a coloring contest. Here's a bunch of the rules. <laughs> Basically, to participate, you just need to color one of the three or all three of our St. Patrick's Day pages that we have free for a limited time. So you can come and get one. I've already colored this one. And we have the owl. And then we have another page that's available there. So what you'll do if you want to um, have a chance to win the $50 Amazon gift card is first you need to become a member of the Facebook group that's on the screen right now. And then you come in to find the album in there that is called St. Patrick's Day Contest. Download one or all three of the coloring pages provided there. Print and color it. Take a photo of the completed page and share that photo in this album in our Facebook coloring group. And then also sh share that same photo out into a Facebook coloring group other than ours to kind of get the word out. Um, and if you do that, then you're entered. Each participant can enter up to three times by coloring each of the three pages. Just follow the steps. Um, let's see, what else? The winner will be selected randomly, so this is not a talent contest. This is a participation contest. And then the contest ends Sunday, March 17th, 2024 at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Daylight Standard Time. You have to have your entries in to that album before the end of time. And then the winner will be announced in our Facebook group on Monday, March 18th. And if you want a chance to win the Ohuhu markers, we're giving away four sets of Ohuhu markers. Just follow this link. And um, all the details for that giveaway, it's all listed on that page. And um, I'm really excited because we get to give away a full set of the Ohuhu Honolulu markers plus three other pastel sets. It's really awesome. So follow the link and get your entries in. That contest ends March 20th, I believe. And we will announce the winner via email on the 21st. And remember, don't get scammed. We never ask for money from you for one of your gifts. We will always pay for the shipping and all that good stuff. So if someone says you have won a Coloring Bliss contest and then asks you for money, that's a scam. Don't ever give them money. So that's why we're here coloring this page today is to talk about the St. Patrick's Day coloring contest. Um, Mimi says, received my first Joanna Basford coloring book today, World of Flowers. That's awesome. I don't have that one. I bet it's beautiful. Um, let's see. Aka is giving some tips on the laser printing. With laser, you have to see if the paper is coated or not. Yep, some page papers are better for laser printers than others. Um, I only have water-based ones. I steal from my daughter. <laughs> um, let's see. Sounds so cool. Some new printers have both blacks, dye, and pigment. Interesting. There's so much to learn about printers. So much to learn. Okay, I like the blue-green. Blue-green, yellow-green. This green, I feel like, could be a little darker, a little more vivid. So I want to work on that some more. It's really important to remember that markers are a wet art medium and you need to let the ink settle and dry into the fibers of the paper before you decide if you love or hate how the blends are looking. And then you can always come back and add more to it, which is what I want to do here. So I'm going to use my really dark green I'm just getting ink all over myself today and my mid-tone green and I want to just give it a little oomph 
and then to my lightest green I'm going to use my chisel nib so I can really scrub that blend together. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm using my darkest green. Hey, we haven't used the other camera view yet. There we go. I'm using my darkest green to add a little more shadow here next to, or where the design goes underneath itself. And then I'm going to the mid-tone to blend out that transition. And then back to the lightest tone to blend out that transition. And you just go over the whole blend with your lightest tone. Just like that. And it should give us a little more oomph to the blend. And back to the lightest green. I'm telling you, we're just really getting ink everywhere here. Oh, we forgot to do a, some little blends here next to the beak, which I think we'll do in some grays because we need to do the, the stick he's holding on to. And we could use the same grays. So maybe a nice warm gray for that. A little of the dark. Blend out that transition with the mid-tone. And blend out that transition with the lightest. That's looking better. Michelle says she has small victories coming today. I've thought about coloring in small victories instead of coloring this page today. I need to get back into it or I'm never going to get some good progress going. I think last time I was live coloring here which was last week, I was working in Small Victories with the Ohuhu markers. That was lots of fun. This is looking much better. I like the darker green added into it. Gives it a more rich green feel to it. Now, whether it'll blend out the way I want it to, we'll find out here as we're working on it. Let's do three sections at the same time. See if I can keep up with three. One, two, three. One, two. That went pretty good. Let's see. Catherine says, Happy Belated Women's Day. Thank you. <laughs> uh, where is the link for printing, please? Sherry asks. Okay, so all you need to do is go to Facebook. Go to our Facebook coloring group called Coloring Pages Bliss. If you're not a member yet, request to become a member and Steve will approve it. And then once you come into our group, there's an album pinned to the top of the group that's called St. Patrick's Day Contest. And in that album are the three free images. And you can download one or all three of those. They'll only be in that album for a limited time. Um, you can get your image downloaded, color it up, and then post a picture of the finished image in our in that album, and that will be your entry to win $50 gift card to Amazon. 
and everyone is welcome to participate, whether you're in the U.S. or outside of the U.S., you are welcome to participate. Okay. Take that off. Sherry wants to color the, the owl with her new markers. Chris is enjoying me being live again. So am I. And I agree. Having a disability can make you feel very isolated and hanging out, coloring like this can feel very um, companionable. I think that's a word. Akis says, my ADHD so seems to like the learning part a lot, and I get into executive dysfunction mode when it's time to get the knowledge into actual things. <laughs> Let's see. Tammy, you will enjoy it. Makes a difference coloring small items and getting them done quickly. Yeah. Hello, Mrs. French. Um... Being live is a whole different world than the recorded videos, I Aka says. I agree. Okay. Now we need to let this green... Oh, wait. We've got this little knot up here to do, too, real quick. But we need to let the ink settle in before I determine whether I like the way I've blended it. It's looking a little bit blocky, the blend. Okay, I'm going to pull this green out a little bit more and try to get um, this green up here to be a little more contrasty from the yellow below it. Okay, let's blend that out. I get like using the chisel nib for this blending because it can be kind of rough on the nibs. Okay, I like that. I don't know if I like the way I blended those. Eka is from Portugal. I'm so glad that um, you're here and I'm glad that our giveaway with the Amazon gift card we can give that to you and you can buy stuff from your Amazon I think that'll work out great Vicki asked everyone to, to do the thumbs up thank you that would be great help we've been live for about an hour now all right yeah I don't know as it's settling in let me bring it up to screen so you can see that darkest green looks kind of blocky so we'll see. I might change it up. Let's do the stick he's on and let's do the beak. And I want to use some warm grays. I'm going to grab my Ohuhu book. This is my um, workbook here that is dedicated to my Ohuhu Honolulu markers. So there's all kinds of color schemes you can choose from in here. There's, I think, 252. And here's the tritones with the light, medium, and dark for every color on the color wheel. There's a color wheel back here with some really cool manipulatives that you can put on top to, to find your color scheme that way. Look at those beautiful wheels. I think this coming Wednesday's video is all about this book and how I filled it out. So you can look forward to that. But what I want is all the grays back here. So we can choose a nice warm gray. We have these red grays. I haven't used these yet. Ooh, I like those. Let's use the three red grays. See how they look. So let me find them up here. Oh, I think that's these three right here. Okay, thank you workbook. That made that easy. Corrine is from France. Hello. Um, Loretta says the owl looks amazing. Thank you. 
Um, Tammy thinks I need to come out further with it. I agree. We're going to, we're going to work on that and make it look even better. Um, welcome back, Polly. We've got Boo Peep here. Such a beautiful, well-executed image. Thank you. Just the right amount of complexity and details. Yeah, I, I like details like this, not too finicky details, but I'm trying to get better at little details like in Joanna Basford's book trying to get better at them okay I think this is the, the lightest gray and we'll just I don't know what color to do his feet maybe the gold what do you guys think gold I can keep these caps organized here. We'll do the darkest gray in between. Okay, so the grays I picked are the red grays. RG150, RG120, and RG110. That's the trio I picked. Okay. And one twenty next. And back to one ten. Okay, that was quick and easy. I love marker coloring for that. Let's do the beak now. Again, we'll start with the lightest gray and flood the whole area with the gray. Like that. Now let's create a shadow. That's the mid-tone shadow. Back to the light to blend that out. And then we'll bring in the darkest shadow just up in a very strategic spots. Like that. Blend it out. And let it dry. <laughs> Gotta let it dry so we know if we like it or not. I like that it doesn't seem to take away from the rest of the coloring. Grays are good for that. The darker golds for the feet. That's a great idea, Chris. I could use the not use the lightest just use the two dark colors which are y2 and yr1 that's a great idea let's do it don't overthink it just dive in right because i want to get to the gel pen and add some fun details everywhere some bling Okay, and then we've got this darker yellow, which we can add here in between the toes. Blend that out. And then right up next to his belly. Okay, so the only blend, as this is all drying out, the only blend that I'm not liking is on our main 
Irish knot. Those greens are not cooperating with me today, so we need to fix that. Okay, we got feet. Um, Sabrina says she has trouble staying within the lines with brush tip markers. Um, my tips and tricks are to really practice and go really light pressure because the lighter you go, the thinner the line. And if you have a shaky hand, that can be really tricky. Or if you're like me and you have, um, like my left eye won't stop twitching. It's been twitching for like a month. <laughs> so sometimes when I'm doing these tiny little details, I have problems. Okay, let's see if we can make this blend better. What if we dropped the lightest green and just did the two? Let's try that. So practice and then don't be so hard on yourself. If you get outside the line a little bit, like if you looked up really close to my coloring, you would see I go outside of the line all the time. <laughs> Um, and when you add in the details later, like the, um, we're going to be adding um, gel pen details, those details really help to distract the eye from mistakes. So I would suggest to not be quite so hard on yourself. I think I'm just going to color this whole thing in the mid-tone green. I'm liking the dark. What do you guys think? What do you think? Is that better? Tammy says, yes, it's working. JG, yes, we are live right now. Welcome. Um, cold water flush, Jen, on your eyes. I need to do, uh, I've had a doctor recommend eye drops and recommend cold compresses on my eye. And I just need to do it more religiously, like every day. Um, I think because I'm always doing detailed work like this, or I'm on my phone a lot too much, <laughs> um, it gives me eye fatigue. I think that's what's going on because I've had my eyes looked at really closely to make sure there's nothing physically wrong and they think it's just eye fatigue. But I need to go get my prescription checked again. Make sure that's good and accurate because it's been about a year since I've talked to my eye doctor. So I'm hoping if I if I'm a good girl and I use the drops and I use the cold compresses, hopefully I can get over it. What do we think? Do we like the dark green better? Guard Tunes likes it better. And then, yeah, if we leave this, this one up here light, I don't know, it's not standing out very well. I might do the same thing. I don't know. You can always add some white with some like paint if I feel like I need to lighten things up. I'm liking the darker green better. I feel like it was too pale before. Okay, one more little section right here.
Okay. That's good. I think it looks better. Is Rose snoring, Mrs. French says. Yes, she is. Oh, she just popped her head up because I said her name. Hi, Rosie. Are you dreaming? Have you been dreaming, huh? Yes, a nice big snore. Okay. Hopefully we won't regret just going darker on the Celtic knots. But I think it's looking better, so... Sometimes a two-color blend is um, the way to go. I like it. Ooh, it's looking good. Dark is better for sure. Thank you, Betty Ann. Um, my eye surgeon told me the 2020 rule, 20 minutes on computer or phone, 20 minutes off. Yeah, yeah, give it more of a break. Um, oh, so I just inked myself again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, my cat is a loud snorlax, Chris says. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put these greens back up and away so my workstation is a little more organized. What do we think of the beak? I don't know, maybe, what if I took some yellow and go over the beak so it's more of a yellow color so it fits it feels a little like disconnected wait I don't want to do that I don't want it to get lost but if we add some yellow into the gray so it becomes a t no a tone a color plus gray is a tone let's see if I like that better I'm liking it better already Welcome, Uzi. We've been alive for an hour and 20 minutes. We're here to talk about our giveaway. It's a contest, a coloring contest we're having over on our Facebook group. You can come on over and download three different St. Patrick's images. One, two, and three. They're free for a limited time. And when you color it, you can enter it into that same album to get a chance to win a $50 Amazon gift card. So here's all the details that you need to know for the giveaway. I've gone through them several times already on the video, so I'm not going to do it again, but there's four steps to get your entry into the um, album and, and get your entry for the contest. And probably the most important thing to know is that the contest ends Sunday, March 17th at 11.59 p.m. and then the winner will be announced in the Facebook group on March 18th. And you need to go to this group and become a member and get the um, the images from the St. Patrick's Day contest album. That's how you get your entry in for a chance to win $50. What would you do with $50 if you won? <laughs> what Do you have something in your... Um, in your Amazon cart right now waiting to be purchased. All right, I'm going to grab white and gold and green. These are the Uniball Gel Impact Signo broad pens that I did a review on these not too long ago. And I'm also going to grab this set. I think I have a green in here. I do. This is another product that I did a review recently on, the Dual Metallic Brush Pens by Pentel. Awesome. Let's see what green this is, if it's more of a blue green. Let's see. Yeah, see that's more of a greeny blue green. So we could come in with that and color up 
the three little dots. Okay, I was going to switch camera views for you, but it's kind of disappeared on me. Steve, will you see? <coughs> oh, that's pretty. Well, thank you. It's time to add the bling. I tried to change camera view and... Oh, it's back. You saved the day. <laughs> Let's switch camera views so you can see it from a bit of a different angle. I'm just using the Pentel brush pen, which is a little bit darker and is a sparkly, glittery, metallic-y paint. Love it. I think that will work really well here. Okay. And let's do it here in the little circles. This is a tiny little brush nib, so it goes pretty fast and easy to get it into those details. Let me try zooming down a little bit so you can see what I am doing. Right in here is where I'm putting the sparkle. Okay, so that's our blue-green. Now, let's see what color green this makes. Ooh, it's a, a much more cooler metallic green. Let's put it in these dots. Okay. What, Rose? What? I love gel pens. Okay, just my problem is, is I keep putting my hand in the wet ink. So I'm trying to avoid that. Okay, now what I need to find is some yellow green gel pen. Okay, let's get the comments back. Alcohol markers. Two of you would buy alcohol markers. Yeah, these um, gel pens are a little bit more money. Um, Patty's asking about um, railroading. Um, and so these gel pens are a little bit more money, but they're worth it. They flow so pretty and do such pretty things. I'm going to use the gold around the eye. There's this white band here. And it flows so fast. It goes so quick. I love it. Ooh, that's pretty. That'll give a little shine to the eyes. Okay. We'll go around his belly, too. There we go. One eye done. Are you panting again, Rose? Do you need to get down? She's just falling back to sleep. Oh, I'm just going as fast as I can here, you guys. I think the last time I colored this guy, I did color pencils and I did a lot more detail. It'd be fun to go back and find that. I wonder if I could. I think I know where I would have put it if I was smart. 
and I put it where it belongs. I have a binder where I keep all my finished coloring pages in sheet protectors. And that's where it should be. All the way around the belly, and then we need to find some green. I'm thinking the... I think there's a yellow-green gel pen in the Stardust Jelly Roll set. So I'm thinking I need to grab that. Okay, and I, I think I've missed some comments. If you have posted a question or something you want me to read, you could post it again. <laughs> I'm trying to color fast here for you guys. Okay, that's looking good. Move it in the light so you can see it catch the light. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, let's find a yellow green. So we're going to grab my jelly roll case here. Oh yeah, we've got, um, here's the stardust and I think there's a yellowy green here. This looks like it's just a normal green. Let's see what color comes. Yeah, that's a a nice clovery green so we could use that one and I think this yellow feels more like a yellow green so that one could be good and I forgot Rose is panting again Steve I wonder if she needs a break I'll go get her some water okay I forgot to do the little details on the tail. Very carefully. Sorry, I'm in the middle of a little detail. Whoa, she is thirsty. Thank you, Steve. Oh, well, I really like that I added that yellow into the beak. I really like it. Okay, now for the details here, I want to add a little green sparkle to each ruffle here. Thirsty girl. Okay, we'll just color this up. Um, Steve says he loves the col color combo. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> These little dots out here, should I do them in gold or green? You guys tell me. Gold or green for these little dots out here. Or we could do the yellow. Okay, now you have three options. Yellow, gold, or green. Put it in the comments. I love that the jelly rolls, for the most part, even though they've been sitting in that case for a while without me touching them, you can reach for them and they're still flowing. Once in a while, like all gel pens, 
you run into one that doesn't keep flowing, but they're so great. I don't like investing in art supplies that have a, a short shelf life because I have so many art supplies that I want to try and play with and sometimes it's a, a, a while, a, a few weeks before I'm back to my gel pens again and I don't want them to be all dried up when I come back so I appreciate that the jelly rolls stick in there. Okay, let's see. Gold, yellow, 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 yellow. Jelly roll gold. Okay, I think yellow is the winner. So we'll use this yellow right here and see how it looks. We can always change it. Go back on top of it. Oh, I'm liking it already. <laughs> Let me change views and see if you can see it. Definitely looks yellow gold. I mean, yellow green. Come over here to these closer ones. And next to the yellow green, it really looks good. Finish that dot there. Okay, I'm going as fast as I can here so we can get this done. Um, while I finish up, remember we have two things you can enter to win right now. You can win the full set of Ohuhu markers or one of the smaller sets. Um, four winners are being picked for that contest. And for that, all the details are on that link that you can see on the screen right now. So follow that link and get your entries in for the Ohuhu markers. And then if you want to a chance to win the $50 Amazon gift card, you need to go to Coloring Pages Bliss Facebook group and go to the St. Patrick's Day Contest 2024 album. All the details are there of how to enter and you can get your free coloring pages. These ones right here are the three that you can get to color. Let me show you the first one that I colored here. Look how cute. Look, they kind of match, kind of go together. Okay, I grabbed this white thinking I could add a few white highlights. So I want to add one here. And here. And here. And here. Here, here, here. I want to make this look kind of glossy. So I need to add a bunch of highlights. Okay. This is that white pen from that first set of gel pens I showed you. It's a Uniball Signo Broad White. It works really great. We did, recently did a video where I compared white gel pens and gold gel pens and silver gel pens. So if that's something you need, you should check out that video. A few more white highlights here and there to give it some some nice reflective looks. I think the eye itself is doing really good as far as it doesn't need any white gel pen. And a little white highlights here. Okay, then I don't think it's going to show up on the beak very good, but we'll try a little bit there, a little bit on his feet. 
cute little feet. That looks cute. A little white here, here. Okay. I think we've done everything that I wanted to do. So I'm going to take this green gel pen, the metallic one, and sign it and date it. I always date. And it's March 9th. 24. Okay, there she is. What do we think? Let me move it in the light so you can see. All, oh, look at all the sparkles. Steve, come see the finished owl. He needs a name. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Look at all the shine. Yeah great thing about um, markers is like I said we just colored over so many of those little details and then you just strategically come back with a little bit of gel pen here and there and it looks like you colored every detail and you spent hours and hours where in reality we have spent I would guess about an hour and a half ever so often I've had to stop and um, talk about the giveaway and stuff I forgot to add highlights up here on his head but it's about an hour and a half of coloring time I would guess to finish this whole page so alcohol markers are so great for that Oscar Polly thinks we should name him Oscar <laughs> I like that name <laughs> all right I am so glad all of you were able to join me for this live color along. Don't forget to go become a member of our Facebook group so that you can enter for a chance to win a $50 Amazon gift card. Remember, it's in the album St. Patrick's Day Contest in our Facebook group where you can see all the rules and details. And then we also have our other giveaway going on on our website where we're giving away Ohuhu markers. So follow that link on your screen to go learn about that. Thank you everyone for joining me today on this impromptu live color long. I've got my two holiday coloring pages now. They can be side by side together. This one's got a cute background. This one is just just cute. He's really popping off that page. I love it. <laughs> Thanks again for uh, being here with me and good luck to everyone for the contests and the giveaways. I hope that you all have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye everyone. Rose says goodbye too. Bye-bye.